Have you just started using Microsoft Lists and then had the thought, hey, let's go take a look at the list on my cell phone and found it's a jumbled mess of text soup? Well, let me show you how to turn your list from this garbage into this. Stay tuned. Designing list views for a cell phone is not hard. It's a three-step process. Step one, we're gonna create a new view. Step two, we're gonna make it a mobile view and set it as the default view for when users access the list from a cell phone. And then step three, we are gonna customize it for cell phone use. So let's dive into the configuration. Okay, log into your Office 365 account. Go to the app launcher and click on lists and then select the list that you wanna create a view for. In my list here, you can see that this is the list that I use to track content ideas. And I have already customized it, so it's not the all items layout. It's just organized by status and then alphabetically underneath it. This is 95% of the way there for why I want a cell phone. So let's go through this two ways. One, I'll show you the cheater way if you have a view that is almost the setup that you want and then I'll show you how to do it from scratch. Let's go through the cheater way right now. Go underneath the view menu here and do save view as. Let's call this cheater view to keep it consistent. You can say make it as a public view so everyone can use it. Now that this is updated to cheater view, click on again and do edit current view. But now that we are in the view settings, let's go and edit this. In this case here, we don't want these five things checked. We actually don't want the edit menu either. We just want title linked to item. So this will open up the item on your cell phone, but you don't have extra stuff in the way. And as we scroll down, we can expand the group by, and we already have the status set because we copied that original one. Now that we're at the bottom here, we can select these last two options to make it a mobile view and then to set it as the default mobile view. Then click OK. It's going to show you basically a preview, which in a website like this, it's very basic, but everything is there and in a moment here we'll go open this up on a cell phone so you can see before we see the end result let's go and create it from scratch it's not that much extra work but now that we are back into SharePoint list you can see we're still on the cheater view and let's go create a new view from scratch create new view in this case just do show as list these other ones don't really work on a cell phone so we'll just call this from scratch and click create when you do one like that where you're not copying anything and creating the all items with the view again with the new name on it so this is all the columns it's everything there's no sorting no nothing so let's go change that because that's going to look like word soup on a cell phone edit current view and similar to what we changed previously we're going to just uncheck all of this stuff here do a title link to item then underneath group by change this down to status actually to make it easier see I'm gonna group this by category so we can see the difference on the cell phones but same concept if you are in a team environment and you need to limit the view to just a user's items that you can do that under the filter section by um, using these variables underneath the column name so if it's created by assigned by just pick the corresponding column and then do me if it's a due date thing you can do time functions as well just kind of scope each view to an individual just like the other one we have our options here enable for mobile access and then if we wanted this one to be the new default one we could check this box here and then it would uncheck it underneath the other view as a quick little preview, here's our simplified setup. Now that the from scratch view is complete, let's go grab a cell phone and see how these two views look on a cell phone. Select our list. 
and I see I'm in my completed view right now. Let's go take a look at our options. Let's look at the cheater view first. Then we expand it. So you can see easy to read. And depending on the size of the phone, you may need to just extend this column over, but we're not constantly scrolling up and down and left to right. So for example here, I am currently filming another video for a garage air filter setup. Just like that. And then we have our full item here, easily to edit, update, video update planning to finish on Father's Day. Oop. And done. That one's updated. Now on to our, our from scratch view. We just changed the view again from scratch. This one we organized it by category instead of status just as another use case but either way whichever way works for you. We got all broken down the first time you use it you'll have to just stretch that column out but this is easily readable whereas the open items is word soup because it loads everything thank you for watching and sticking around to the end if you are still here that must mean you at least found this video semi informational if you could go ahead and give me a thumbs up and if i've earned it click that subscribe button Again, my name is Terry and this is my lab. Have a good one.